Howdy, my name is Wu Jong, and today I wanted to share a quick story with you guys. Once upon a time, there was a young man named Beowulf. Now, Beowulf had a childhood best friend named Troy. Growing up, they were always in competition with one another, comparing everything from who could run faster to who had bigger muscles. Nonetheless, they were adults now. Beowulf's best friend Troy had a girlfriend, but so did he. It was February and Valentine's Day was right around the corner here in Korea. On Valentine's Day, a woman gives a gift to exemplify her love to her significant other. But don't worry, because in March, the men returned the favor. As such, it was Valentine's Day and it was mildly cold with a slight breeze outside. Perfect weather for cuddling, but that's besides the point. Now you see, Troy's girlfriend gave him $1,000 to symbolize her love for him. On the other hand, Beowulf's girlfriend only gave him $10 to symbolize her love for him. Beowulf was disappointed and sad because he kept comparing his life to his best friend's. He was devastated for days on end and ultimately made the decision to break up with his girlfriend because of her small and insignificant gift to symbolize her love for him. Beowulf kept thinking to himself, Troy's girlfriend, $1,000. His girlfriend, $10. He was having none of it, so they parted ways. What Beowulf didn't know was that his best friend's girlfriend was very wealthy and belonged to society's elite, the upper class. Her gift of $1,000 was pocket change and made no dent in her bank account. And what Beowulf didn't see was that his loving girlfriend was from a lower social economic class. She saved her money for a full year to prepare for the Valentine's Day gift. And that's how tight her wallet was for money. And even then, she thought of Beowulf and diligently saved her money. In the end, all she had was $10, and she didn't even hesitate to give it all to him. That $10 was everything that she owned to her name in the bank. I had a conversation with someone dear to my heart about this very topic, and I decided to make it into a story so that I could give some of y'all a wake-up call. In life, perspective matters. If Beowulf would have taken the time to fully understand the situation, he would have seen how significant his girlfriend's love was for him. So stop comparing your life to others. You will never be satisfied if you keep complaining about your neighbor's bigger house, better car, or even cuter dog. What you have is sufficient. Learn to appreciate that of which belongs to you already. I genuinely hope that this got some of y'all thinking. If you make it to the end of this video, I want you to please comment down below. What I have is enough. What I have is enough. What you have is truly enough and you have to learn how to appreciate it. And with that said, don't be like Beowulf. And until next time, have a good one. I'm